Minan Studio Official Channel na Miminan iko poa sana. Okay, karibu na katika video hii tutaenda kuangalia baadhi ya terminology zinazohusika katika Android Studio. Okay, check my channel we tupo katika Android uh, what application development. Kwa katika channel yangu utakuta video hizo. So ipo part ambapo nitaelezea baadhi ya terminologies katika Android Studio. Okay, tuanze na Android yenyewe. So Android ni moja ya system ambazo ni okay, how can I say? Android that Android imetoholewa katika uh, terminology inayomaanisha ni robot anayeweza kuhusika kama mwanadamu. So alipewa terminology hiyo Android. Okay, I'll speak much another day lakini Android inatumia operating system ya Linux. Unaposema operating system ni kwamba ni mfumo unaoendesha kitu fulani. Kwa hiyo Android inatumia mfumo unaoitwa Linux kujiendesha. Na Linux ni nini? Linux ni kama Microsoft na yenyewe pia ni mfumo pia. Okay, so ni kama system. Linux ilitoka ilitengenezwa na mtu fulani anaitwa Linux okay Torvalds kama sitakosea na huyu jamaa yeye ali ali ali, 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 ali itohoa Linux kutoka kwenye operating system inaitwa Unix kwa hiyo alikaa akacheki ile Unix akaona kwamba okay haija satisfy mahitaji yake akajipanga akatengeneza system ambayo ni Linux na ni kwa nini alifanya hivyo kwa sababu Unix, Linux na Android zote ni open system. Open system kumaanisha kwamba mtu yote anaweza akaichukua system, akaichezea anavyotaka, akaweka vitu, akatoa vingine na akatengeneza system yake. Kwa hiyo ni free mtu kufanya hivyo na pia dokumenti zake pia ni free. Kwa hiyo inakuepo rahisi sana. Kwa hiyo Unix na yenyewe okay let me speak a little about Unix. Unix ilitengenezwa katika lib lab library moja ya Bell sijajua ni where lakini Bell Labs okay <laughs> mwaka 1960 if kama sijakosea na ikaja kupata uh, uh, kujulikana kwenye mwaka wa sabini hapo kutokana na kuwa ni uh, ni system ambayo ni nzuri kwa ku compute means Okay, kufanya kazi lakini haiku haikuuzika sana. Kumbuka ni open system. Kwenye mwaka wa 1990 hapo ndo ikatokea sana kwa popular kwa sababu ya kuwa poa katika masuala ya internet. Internet system. Then ina branch zake kama Utrix, Zenin, GNU na Linux yenyewe ambayo ndo tunaiongelea sasa hivi. Kwa hiyo Linux ndo originality yake hiyo where it comes from. So Android inatumia Linux na inatumia pia Java runtime machine. Um, okay, uh, utaiona hapo mbele nitaiulizia. Anyway, ngoja nieleze. So what is uh, Java uh, virtual machine? Java runtime machine it's the same. Kwa tunapoongelea Visual Machine uh, Visual ma Machine <laughs> sorry <laughs> Okay ni machine inayo uh, 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 what can i say Kwa mfano uh, machine machine kama unavyofahamu hata ya kusagia unga machine ni kule Inakuepo ime compose vitu vingi 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 kuna nati pale kuna okay kuna zile lola mule ndani uh, yote kwa ujumla tunaita machine so Visual tunaposema visual na maana kwamba ni mashine ambayo huwezi kuitach huwezi kuishika ni kwamba ya kufikilika so ni ni mashine inayokaa kwenye system kwa android inatumia mashine hiyo as system kama software kwa ajili ya kuendesha program zake na pia kwenye android tutapata imegawanyika katika pati ya po ipo dalvik na ipo pia what Okay, ipo Android runtime. Zipo hizo mbili. So, uh, uh, okay, sito go deep sana tutaelewa ta, vizuri taratibu. Okay, so that is all about Android. 
Okay, so kuna part nikasema nitaongelea dependencies kama tulivyokuwa tumegusia mwanzoni so dependencies kama ilivyo ni depends. Unapokuwa unatengeneza app dip, uh, kuna 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 okay, kuna developer ambao ametengeneza uh, kitu kitu chake cha kipekee. Kwa mfano, unaweza kuta katika Android Studio basically kuna button, button tu ya kubonyeza kawaida. Lakini sawa Una, unapataje button ambayo ina manjonjo mengi so lazima uchukue files kwa mtu fulani ambaye alishatengeneza manjonjo ya button hiyo akaweka mtandao kwa hiyo unachukua utumie manjonjo hayo so unapotumia that's what we call dependencies kwa hiyo the way you copy that link from that guy na kuipaste kwenye app yako we call you depend on that your app ina depend na ile link ya ule mtu so that's what we call dependencies na most of them zinakuwa online zinakuhitaji usynchronize online okay we have what after that we have api okay uh, this is a point now api ni application programming interference uh, kwa Kiswahili nakuaje ni okay ni ni, ni jinsi unavyo interfere yani unavyo inavyokutana application yako na programming yako so unapokuwa unaweka code na app yako ile communication that's what we call api kwa hiyo ile api ni data ambazo zimeshaandaliwa na makampuni ya android kwa ajili ya kukusaidia na utaona katika android development kuna api 19 api 20 api 21 mpaka 28 so ni file zimeshaandaliwa kwa ajili ya kukusaidia so unapokuwa una code unakuwa umeshapewa mwongozo wa what you are coding so that's all about api Okay, kuna kitu kinaitwa SDK that is hapa ndipo kumejaa vitu vingi. Software Development Kit, kifupi chake SDK. Kwa hiyo hii ni kit. In English unaposema kit ni okay, first aid kit, ni box ambayo ina ina zile yui, sindano, sabuni na nina nini vya kushare inapotokea ajali. <laughs> so Software development kit ni the same. Kwamba hapa tunakuwa na kit kile kibox ambacho kinatusaidia katika ku develop software. Software ni system, okay. How can I say? Ni software as you see it software. Yaani ni, ni kwa mfano hii system ambayo huwezi kuitach. Unaposhika laptop that is hardware. Utashika kispeaker, utashika battery, utashika button that is hardware. When you say software is all that is going on within that system. Ni vyote vinavyotembea tembea humo hizo charge and whatever so that is what we call software. Ah uh, yeah. So SDK kwenye Android Studio tunatumia Java virtual machine kama SDK yetu. Kwa katika Java virtual machine ndipo tuna tuna run application zetu. So unapomaliza ku code ili app yako i-run i- uione lazima ipitie katika hiyo Java virtual machine na hiyo inakagua. Kwa hiyo uzuri wa Java ni kwamba inakuwa na hiyo mashine yake ya kukagua code zako. Kwa hiyo application haiwezi ku bila kukaguliwa hapo. Tofauti na window au Apple ambazo zenyewe application zake zipo direct. Kwa hiyo faida ya hii Java virtual machine ni nini? Ni kwamba inazuia application kuharibu okay kuharibu system yako. Kwa hiyo unapolan application iliyokodiwa kwa Java tayari inakuwa imeshakaguliwa kabla haijalan. Kwa hiyo sio rahisi kuharibu system tofauti na kama uh, Windows and whatever zile zina run direct. So ni rahisi pia kwa program kuharibu system. Yaani okay. That's it. So we have one Okay that is all about SDK and Java virtual machine. You will see when you are coding utakuonyesha jinsi inavyo tu, tuonyesha kila kitu tunachokifanya hata ukipress button utaona inakuelezea. That's all about. Okay so we have IDE. Now IDE ipo katika part mbili tu one is integrated device electronics. Okay, in Swahili hii inakuwa ni integrate ni kama kumwingiliano. So ni mwingiliano wa devices za electronic. 
unaposema devices za electronics ni kama kwa mfano ukiwa na simu yako unapoitoa battery ukaweka line pembeni ukaifungua ukaweka speaker ukaweka screen pembeni ukaweka lile cover pembeni so all hivyo ulivyovitenganisha hivyo speaker ni kifaa cha electronic battery ni kifaa cha electronic na vingine vingi so eh, unaposema now IDI as integrated device electronics katika pati yake ya kwanza inahusika na kuzi integrate kuziunganisha hizo devices so eh, katika system IDI wamekuwa na hard drives na ifikie unaifaa okay drives ni as you see drives inaendesha I'll speak much about them next time. Okay, tulikwepo na drive tofauti tofauti, okay? Tu imewahi kuwa na drive as ata. Okay, now all right. So that's cool. Okay. Okay, those are hardware. You see drives are hardware and the kilefcha ata ni what can I say? Okay, uh, advanced technology attachment that's what I can say cuz IDE ilikuwa inatumia kitu fulani kuiunganisha hard, hard hard drive I mean kuiunganisha hardware kwa mfano speaker ije iingie kwenye system kwa hiyo ilikuwa inapita kwenye kitu fulani hapo katikati sasa so, hicho kitu fulani kinachoiunganisha speaker ili ingie kwenye system ili ukipress wimbo usikike that's what we call IDE lakini katika system for example tukiongelea hard drives uh, IDE wameleta wamekuwa na hizi ata okay advanced technology attachment ambazo ni kwamba zenyewe zinaenda moja kwa moja so inatoa data from hard drive moja kwa moja kwenye system without kupita katika kitu fulani ambacho kitaiunganisha now modern sasa zipo sata okay <laughs> this are more sad simplified so how can i we call it sata we can call just it simply uh, what simple advanced technology attachment that is it okay that's not our part our part ni b ide meaning yake b ni kwamba ni integrate development environment kwa hiyo ni mazingira yanayotusaidia katika ku develop Okay, mazingira yanayotusaidia katika development ya app yetu. Na haya yanakuwepo katika software, okay? So software huwezi kuishika, it's just you see it, you you you, you program some things there, hardware zinakutana kutana so they display a software and you see inayo control hizo hard drives and hardware ni ni software. So katika software tunacho kitu kinaitwa kernel. Na Android wanatumia what can i say kernel kernel ni okay inaandikwa kernel to see yet kwa tuna pronounce to fault but i mostly right prefer to pronounce it that way kernel hii ni base system okay base system uh kernel <laughs> unapoasha sim ile loading yote process ya kwanza au unapoasha computer ile loading process ya kwanza that's what we call base system na kano imegawanyika ipo monolithic na micro kano. Monolithic ni base system ambayo ina, ina, inafanya kazi kubwa kwa wakati mmoja. I think hivyo utakuwa umenielewa. Na micro kano ni zile ambazo zimegawanishiana kazi. Kazi ni moja lakini imegawanyika katika hatua mbalimbali na kazi moja iliyoganyika katika hatua mbalimbali na kuwa rahisi kufanikiwa na, na kuimaliza kuliko monolithic ambazo nyenye zinafanya kazi moja kwa wakati huo huo mmoja kwa hiyo zinakuwa zinachukua muda sana ku ranch kwa hiyo utaona system eh, uh, ambayo iko poa sana itakuwa inatumia micro kernel kwa ajili ya kuwaisha uh, boot na vitu kama hivyo lakini kama inatumia monolithic then utaona ina kamda mrefu sana ku run ku load okay, uh, katika kano we have kernel panic na hii ni what so base system inapokuwa imeshindwa kufanya kazi so, ndivyo tunaita pa, uh, kernel panic. Kwa hiyo kwa nini ishindwe kufanya kazi labda umeweka hardware ambayo ni tofauti na system au okay base system imeshindwa ku control ile hardware kwa hiyo ita shut down au ita fail. Kwa hiyo utaona kama ni simu umetumia kwa mfano ume simu yako ni <laughs> ni ni, ni, ni high support program fulani na umeilazimisha kuiweka. Kwa hiyo cha kwanza itachemka 
na cha pili utakapoitumia sana utashangaa system uh, simu imezima ni sasa au computer imezima kwa hiyo inakuwa hivyo that base system inakuwa ime panic ime corrupt that way kwa hiyo solution ni ku unstop program au kuchomoa kama umechomeka device mpya kwa wakati huo okay so that is all much go karibu katika channel yetu ambapo utakuta pia video nitakapokuwa nimeelezea okay uh, evolution ya android Uh, jinsi ambavyo Android imekuwa ikienda ikibadilika badilika mpaka sasa kuwa Android 9. Poa katika channel yetu pia nitakuja kuweka video hiyo. So nikutakie siku njema, wish you nice time. Kumbuka kusubscribe, like channel yetu na poa sana ukishare, it's good. Then click the notification bar kwa ajili ya video mpya. So good